Today is Ember Wednesday in September. If you're following the 62 calendar, the readings will come from Amos 9, 13 to 14, 2 Ezra 8, 1 to 10, and Mark 9, 16 to 28. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the reading of the prophet Amos. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. And the mountains shall drop sweetness, and every hill shall be tilled. And I will bring back the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the abandoned cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine of them, and shall make gardens and eat the fruits of them, and I will plant them upon their own land, and I will no more pluck them out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. Eo gracias. From the second book of Esdras, also known as Nehemiah in newer Bible translations. And the seventh month came, and the children of Israel were in their cities. And all the people were gathered together as one man to the street which is before the water gate. And they spoke to Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had commanded to Israel. Then Ezra the priest brought the law before the multitude of men, and women, and all those that could understand in the first day of the seventh month. And he read it plainly in the street that was before the water gate, from the morning until midday before the men and the women, and all those that could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book. And Esdras the scribe stood upon a step of wood, which he had made to speak upon, and there stood by him Mattathias, and Semea, and Ania, and Uriah and Helkiah, and Maasiah, on his right hand, and on the left, Fadiah, Misael, and Melchiah, and Hasum, and Hasbadana, Zachariah, and Mosulam. And Esdras opened the book before all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he had opened it, all the people stood. And Esdras blessed the Lord, their great God. And all the people answered, Amen, Amen, lifting up their hands. And they bowed down and adored God with their faces to the ground. Now Josue and Bani and Serebiah, Jamin, Akub, Septai, Obdiah, Masiah, Cheltia, Azareas, Josabed, Hanu, Pariah, and the, Levi, the Levites made silence among the people to hear the law, and the people stood in their place. And they read in the book of the law of God distinctly and plainly to be understood. And they understood when it was read. And Nehemiah, he is a Thersapa, and Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who interpreted to all the people said, this is a holy day to the Lord our God. Do not mourn nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. And he said to them, Go, eat fat meats and drink sweet wine, and send portions to them that have not prepared for themselves, because it is the holy day of the Lord. And be not sad, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Deo gracias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Gloria tibi Domine. 
And one of the multitude answering said, Master, I have brought my son to thee, having a dumb spirit, who wheresoever he taketh him, dasheth him, and he foameth and gnasheth with the teeth and pineth away. And I spoke to thy disciples to cast him out, and they could not, who answering them said, O incredulous generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And they brought him. And when he had seen him, immediately the spirit troubled him. And being thrown down upon the ground, he rolled about, foaming. And he asked his father, How long time is it since this hath happened unto him? But he saith, From his infancy. And oftentimes, hath he cast him into the fire and, to, and into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, help us, having compassion on us. And Jesus saith to him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And immediately the father of the boy, crying out with tears, said, I do believe, Lord, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw the multitude running together, he threatened the unclean spirit, saying to him, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command thee, go out of him, and enter not any more into him. And crying out, and greatly tearing him, he went out of him. And he became as dead, so that many said he is dead. But Jesus, taking him by the hand, lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples secretly asked him, Why could not we cast him out? And he said to them, This kind can go out by nothing but by prayer and fasting. Laus Tibi Christen.